Hello there. Are you having trouble sleeping again? Well, I certainly do enjoy impersonating our dear friend Fred. Yeah, that's yeah, the good looking one. He is very accomplished. But my sweet young Padawan, are you having trouble sleeping again? Hmm. Well, I have to say, I'm very proud of you. Very proud. You've come a long way. A long way in your training. In a relatively short period of time. And I have foreseen that you will do many great things. Many great things. So tell me, what's troubling you? Hmm. Well, these are very, very common fears. Fear of the dark side and its power. to let you in on maybe this will be a little secret maybe you've already realized but there is light and dark in all of us that's right all of us have the capacity to let the dark side take over and the key is not to pretend that it doesn't exist or that it's not tempting because it is the key is to learn to accept that part of who you are not run in fear from it. For that which you run in fear from and try to forcibly ignore, well, it will end up only growing stronger within you. It's a struggle that all People, let alone Jedi's, must face. And certainly, you know that there are evil people, evil forces, and the way that we overcome them certainly not by ignoring them. Nor would I suggest truly viewing them as your enemy. That's just not very useful. What we do as Jedi's is we are protectors. We are kind of a knight, if you will. And certainly we have great power, and with great power comes great responsibility. I don't see in your fear weakness. What I see is material.
maturity and intelligence. You're acknowledging your fears. That's right. That's right. There is a saying that goes along the lines of ignorant people think they're very, very smart. And the more intelligent and educated and healthy and strong you become as an individual, the more you will realize the gaps in your own knowledge. So, I don't take your fear as a sign of weakness. I view it as a sign of strength and intelligence. Knowing that you, as well as I, and everybody, have this dualistic nature, one side, which is control over other people, another side wants to allow all things to be free, to allow others to live their lives as best they see barring harming others. That, of course, is where we Jedi do. We do draw the line. So, does that, does that ease your mind at all? Have I ever been afraid? Well, of course I've been of course, I've been very afraid at times. But I won't allow fear to freeze me into inaction. It's okay to have fear. Fear is normal. It's part of being human. Courage and bravery is not the absence of fear, but a mastery over it, allowing your intelligent side to overcome our animal side, our amygdala side, and our brains source of the fight or flight reaction stems from our amygdala part of our brain. And when we are feeling threatened, the amygdala sort of takes over, or at least it tries. And for most people, it succeeds. Your adrenaline spikes, and you get shaky, and you can't think clearly. Your heart rate goes through the roof. You may hyperventilate. All these things, of course, are anathema to what we must actually do in those situations. And you will learn to not just calm the amygdala hijacking, if you will. You will learn to control it and use it for good, use it for power. that make sense? Good. Are you 
you're finding yourself e resting easier. Well, I will stay here with you until you fall asleep. This time. Okay. So, go ahead and close your eyes now. see if you can clear your mind with me for a moment, focusing on the sensations and sounds around you, noticing them, observing them. Imagine, if you will, for a moment spirit gently floating over your body. And notice yourself calmly looking down at your serene form. Look at how beautiful your face is. serene. Notice your chest rise and fall with each soothing breath. yourself like a pure and innocent baby. For we were all babies and children once. And imagine the, the absurdity of being angry with that innocent, beautiful child or baby infant within. That's right. And as we grow older, we learn more, we certainly take on more responsibilities. And as we do, life does get more complicated. But right now, float above yourself and look down upon your beautiful form and its innocence. And if you can, Send love to that beautiful form. Can you do that? Just send love from you to you. That you are a kind, loving, gentle,
that's funny when speaking to you I'm mostly talking to myself and reminding myself of these truisms and reminding that in this moment now on this spaceship Everything is okay. We are safe. We are secure. In this moment right now. In this moment right now. We are safe. secure, and we are deeply loved, and again, I am so very, very proud of you, the path you have chosen is not easy, it is not for the weak-minded, or the weak-spirited, or the weak-bodied. And you will learn things that many, many will never know. And it doesn't make you better or worse than anybody else. no benefit down the rabbit hole of comparison. I cannot compare myself to Master Yoda, for he is Master Yoda, and I am Obi-Wan. helped me as I will help him as you help me and I help you I truly hope you get to experience the joy of being a mentor child like yourself someday. And what I have certainly learned is that I am learning just as much from you as you are from me. It's just different. And the more questions you have and the more curiosity you have, the more it causes me to be introspective and articulate, articulate my own thinking, my own thoughts, my own angels and demons and struggles with the dark side. Well, of course I have. Of course I've struggled with the dark side. Everybody has. There have always been moments of wishing we had more control over others. And perhaps in a way that is where the dark side comes from. It comes from our fear of not knowing the future. And it's our attempt to 
control. That which we have no control over. The myth of thinking if we have power over other people. If we control other people that somehow that makes us safer. But my experience says otherwise. Most people are remarkable, kind, loving, scared. But the will to dominate, to control, I do believe stems from a fundamental unknown, and we must not allow that fear to control us, observe it, notice it, just as you are able to visualize gently floating over your serene, calm, beautiful form, notice that fear be friends with it. Don't resist. It's a part of you. It's a part of me. What we resist persists, as an old saying goes. Okay. Now, shh. Go to sleep.